Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss 60 days plan for NEET 2020. Now only 60 days are left for your NEET exam. Today is 3rd March and 3rd May will be the day when you are going to perform in your NEET exam. For all the students, this is a difficult task no doubt. Syllabus is vast, vast syllabus we have and this is the biggest problem. Everyone is confused what to do and what not to do. The first point, the first thought in your mind should be, yes, I can. That is the only thought which can lead a road to the success. That means the first, you must be a positive thinker. Think that you can. This is a test which you can crack easily. You can do it. And that is the first point you must have in your mind early in the morning whenever you wake up. Just wake up with the thought, yes, I can. It is possible. Main kar sakta hoon, main kar sakti hoon, ye ho sakta hai. This is the first point in your mind. And the second part, at least 10 minutes daily, use your time for your physical fitness, for your mental relaxation. 10 minutes walk daily is must for you nowadays because now you have to work hard and your battery must be charged fully so that you can perform well. With full battery charged and with full of energy, when you have the next step that is meditation, that is very important because a balanced mind can perform well. Without a balance, without a fearlessness, you can't perform. For your performance, now the first three tips I must say, one is you should be a positive thinker now. Don't think negative, think, think positive, positive, positive and positive. And the next point we have is, you must have 10 minutes daily walk program. You must walk daily 10 minutes and more than 10 if you can afford. 10 minutes walk will fill you with oxygen, with full of your energies and all positive energies with you, positive vibes with you and then meditate for a while, for 5 minutes, 2 minutes, 3 minutes and relaxed, then be balanced, be comfortable and the next step leave all distractions aside this is the time now to leave your mobile phone to leave all those gadgets those are distracting you daily leave all those friends those are going to distract you from your studies all those things those are distracting around you just leave them aside all those things just keep them aside for two months and after two months you will find that success is with you and those things are still in your life now distractions are kept aside now come to the syllabus now in these 60 days we are going to focus only on ncrt's ncrt chemistry is a very good book ncrt biology ncrt physics these are the wonderful books for your neat exams and biology tests teachers are generally saying that the whole question paper the full question paper is from ncrt every question is from ncrt every question is from the lines of ncrt and you must go for ncrt nowadays now in these 60 days when are you going to revise something to ncrt open your ncrt underline the important points important tips underlined portion if you have already underlined it just go through those underlined lines and statements so that you can revise your chapters then in physics, the major problem with the need students is physics because question the concept is very vast and practical knowledge is required for that subject and the problem is when physics is in front of medical students means numericals and we don't know how to solve it. Now this problem we can solve in physics 45 questions are not from numerical portion only 15 to 20 questions can be numerical rest will be the conceptual physics. So why you are not focusing on your conceptual physics? Just physics means conceptual physics. First solidify that. Concepts must be clear to you. Conceptual questions be know, must be known to you and you must know how to handle those conceptual questions. Keep numericals aside for a while. Are you in a position to crack 25 questions of physics? Answer is yes. Most of you are going to say 25 questions physics we can do if numericals are not going to be there. And then first focus on those 25 question, conceptual questions of physics. Those are very important for you and physics can take you towards the lead. Then 
after this vast syllabus when we talk about the vast syllabus how to revise that vast syllabus now we are not having ample time that we can revise a chapter in one complete day that time is not going to be there we are having test series in ace tutorial and we are giving some syllabus sheets to the students that in first test these chapters are coming students are saying nine chapters are there ma'am we are not getting any time for them we have just revised chemistry and bio and physics we are not getting time for that this is not the right way beta now in these 60 days you must know that if nine chapters are coming in one test you must know how to revise those tests those chapters in a fast track manner we can't give the full day to one chapter how to revise that for example if i explain you revision of chemical bonding that is my subject in chemical bonding how will you revise are you going to read each and every note and every point of the theory that's a wrong aptitude. You are supposed to just brief revision means just look at the formulas, structures, molecular orbital theory diagrams, energy level diagrams are important. Bond order that is important how to calculate bond order what are the significance of the bond order values and all all these are important now you are not going to waste time on octet rule and limitations of octet rule that's not important now you are not going to waste your time on uh, let us suppose vesper theory and structures of vesper theory you know all those structures are known to you you have done in chemical bonding coordination compounds and so many other chapters you have done those structures don't time waste your time on those topics those are already known to you easy for you just leave those topics now focus your maximum attention to the topics those are difficult or those are not uh, you are not free with those you are not free flow understanding of those concepts is not there just go through those topics in a very uh, keen manner and revise the chapter one chapter most both probably one chapter one and a half hour if one chapter one and a half hour nine chapter nine hours maximum because two chapters are going to be easy and seven chapters are difficult sometimes five chapters difficult four chapters easy this is your plan and you are going to plan it well this is not the way that you can just make a lame excuse that physics I have not done. That's why I have leave the physics paper aside. Now go through the fast track revision. Don't waste your entire time on chemistry only, on bio only or physics only. The next part. Now at present, which type of objective questions you are going to solve? Students are coming, with from, uh, coming in front of me and asking same question. Ma'am, now how many questions we should solve? 60 questions a day or 100 questions a day or 200 questions a day what is the number of questions now at this time when we are left with only 60 days we should solve previous year questions with concept clarity when i say previous questions with concept clarity that means in a question of previous year if one question is from hybridization you have solved that question yeah now you are getting an idea that hybridization is an important topic and one question is going to be there in that paper if one question is there from isomerism of coordination compounds in NEET 2017 it means that topic is important and you must revise that topic thoroughly it means concept clarity mean a question in need means important topic important question and that question that concept must be clear to you if you are not aware of that topic you are not clear about that topic just go to your teacher your mentor and discuss that question that concept with your teacher because if previous year question is there with you and you are not knowing the answer you are not in a position to handle it it means you can uh, you are just going to uh, skip that question or that chapter in the NEET exam also. So just go to your mentor, your teacher, ask that question, how to explain, how to ex re reason that question, how we can attempt other questions if on the same pattern some other question is going to come. This is very important, previous year questions with concept clarity. At last I want to say that when you are having very positive nature, very positive thoughts are with you, all distractions are aside, you are going for physical fitness, 10 minutes walk, meditation, spiritual and mental fitness is with you, NCRT you are reading daily, 
previous year questions you are solving now at last now what we should do to check that what we can do what we are doing and how much we can perform you have joined this series test series of face tutorials you are already working on you are working on those chapters those topics if you are doing those test series questions along with that try to solve one mock test every uh, alternate is we can say if today is third on fourth you are going to solve one mock test with timer on three hours on your timer start with the mock test solve each and every question don't worry how many marks you are going to get hardly matters just perform after performing for the three hours just check each and every question the wrong questions will tell you these topics are your weakness these are going to be difficult for you in your final exams as well in your neat exams as well just look at those topics and this explain those look at the explanations of those topics look at the topic chapter and the concept behind it now let us suppose if you have solved 180 questions tomorrow you are going to solve 180 questions out of 180 questions 120 are correct let it be and 60 are going to be wrong it means 60 concepts are weak with you and you are going to look at the topic 60 topics you are going to revise at a stretch In, it means tomorrow you are going to revise 60 different topics from 60 different chapters from three different subjects chemistry physics and biology and that will be a good option for you if you are going to perform first mock test 180 you will find how many questions you are correct questions wrong questions you can avoid your negative marking how many questions you are just are leaving those questions and why you have left those questions you must know that now every alternate you can solve one mock test just discuss it with teachers doubts should be clear to all of you and then afterwards the full march you can just go in the same routine mock test alternatively it means almost uh, we can say that around 10 mock tests you are in a position to solve 10 mocks are solved then till 15th of april follow same routine after 15th april try to solve daily one mock test one mock test daily till first of the may in one mock test daily it means you are going to solve around 15 mock tests for more those 15 mock tests means so many different concepts will be clear to everybody every one of you and then after having clarity of those concepts you will be confident enough to handle that stress which is going to be there in the neat exam when you are daily sitting for three hours you are having the patience to solve three hours paper you will be definitely uh, going to perform well in your neat exams now neat exam mock test solution is very important first positive thought mock test solution after that one thing i must say that uh, in chemistry i have one chapter that is a chemical and ionic equilibrium a difficult chapter for all generally students are saying numericals are difficult questions are difficult and so on but a point in our mind that every difficult chapter may see one question aana hai. if chemical and ionic equilibrium is going to put two questions in the paper Due to that chapter, we are not going to spoil our mind and we are going, not going to spoil our paper. Just leave that chapter if you are not aware of that question type. Just go through the pH values, simple questions. Just go through the theory part, degree of dissociation, equilibrium constant, conceptual part, same that you are doing with physics. If a chapter is difficult in numericals, it doesn't mean a numerical is going to come over there. Sometimes difficult chapter may say bahut asan question aata hai. To aapke paas ye point hamesha yaad rakhna hai jo chapter aapko bilkul lagta hai bahut mushkil hai usse daro mat. Usse chhodne ki himmat karo. Lekin jo chapters tumhe bahut achhe se aate hai usse itne achhe se karo ki uska question agar paper mein aa jaye to duniya ki koi taakat aapka wo question galat na hone de. Kitna bhi difficult kyun na ho. You must know each and every part of the question, every nick and corner of the question concept and you must be in a position to handle that question and you can do that it's not that difficult it's a matter of approach it's a all part is just how you attempt that how you are going to sit in the paper which mindset is there 
If your mindset is very good, if you are very positive, you can crack that NEET 2020 with more than 600 scores. And AIMS Medical Colleges are going to welcome you in the next session 2020. Okay students, now these six points I have discussed and these six points are first positive thinker that you must be with you. You should have positive thoughts in your mind. Daily physical fitness, 10 minute walk, meditation, all distractions kept aside. Focus on NCRTs, very important NCRT, NCRT exemplar questions. Previous year questions with concept clarity, that is very important. Solve mock test alternatively first till April 15 and then after April 15 daily a mock test and then dis, uh, go through the every mistake you performed in the test. If you are going 10 questions wrong, doing 10 or 15 or 50 questions wrong, you are going to revise those 50 concepts daily basis and then you will be in a position to be in the mock uh, test, deep test. At last I just want to discuss one more thing with you. We all have done this activation energy barrier curve. All students are at this position. You are here with our coaching institutes like here with me some students are there in ACE tutorials. Teachers are going to just make this barrier shorter for you. We can't delete this barrier. This is not possible. And this barrier is now short. But you have to move on this path slowly and slowly towards the upper side. When you are moving till this point, don't give up. Hard work is required because now you are at this peak. You have to work or more, more, more work is required. Reach at this top level and then on 3rd May you will be on the direction which is leading toward a doctor. Apron stethoscope that is going to cost a lot. You have to spend now only 60 days for that. 60 days just keep on going. Don't give up. Think positive. You can. You can. Yes, I can. So you have to speak daily to you that you can perform well, you can do something wonderful and you can get more than 600 score in the UNIT exam and this is possible. Just ACE tutorials, with ACE tutorials we have worked a lot, all teachers have shown you some shortcuts, some easy, some easy pathways, some easy uh, way to solve the numericals, questions, tips are given to you that path is provided, shortcut path is provided to you. Now just go through that path and reach at the final stage. That's all for that today's session. Hope all the best for all of you. God bless you all. May you get your success.